Hi folks, welcome to chapter 20 of the Tormach PCNC series. Today we're going to be playing with the PCNC CNC scanner. First step is to take the enclosed CD, uh, pop it in the computer, and install the drivers for the microscope. Next, I install the Tormach CNC scanner software, which is on the second CD included with the microscope. I plug the enclosed USB dongle directly into my Tormach controller, and then I need to go to Config, Config Plugins, and double click the top stools, uh, or top stools, I guess, CNC scan, uh, scope and scan. Click OK and then go ahead and restart Mach 3. I'm using the um, sample card that they include as a, some sort of a calibration clear plastic just resting on my vise here and then I brought the uh, scope down. I um, Hey, you can see it's probably uh, three quarters of an inch off the vise above it. I opened up the scope software versus the scan right now because that seems to let me get a quick glance of uh, what I'm looking at. And you can see the uh, text right here, the notes, please. And I will show you what that is in real life here in a second. I'm already uh, pretty impressed. Um, but like I said, this is the scope software. The one. Excuse me, the one thing I also wanted to point out is that, uh, as you can see, this scope is actually rotated uh, what I, like about 90 degrees um, clockwise, which is what lets the text line up correctly in Mach 3. I'm sure you could do this later if you're exporting a scan into a CAD software, but obviously it's nicer to uh, see this uh, right side up. The note please text that I was zooming in on is the small font down there. I would guess that those are 50 or 60 thousandths high font. So pretty good quality. So moving into practical purposes, I have a request from a good friend to make a set of cufflinks for him. He recently went elk hunting, uh, bagged a large elk, and I guess it's a tradition to take the teeth at all molars or teeth of some kind and they um, are pretty interesting looking guys and he wants them turned into cufflinks so I've got two of them what I've done is I polished them up uh, ground a flat edge on the back side stuck them on a black envelope actually from Mary tool and put a piece of double-sided tape on there got the scanner set up and as you can see here is the uh, view in the software, in the scan software. So if I set this to point 0.05, that's a 50 thousandths increment, and I move it to the right, you can see it update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan this pattern and take a look and see if we can get that to export it into a DXF file. Okay, I uh, set my start points and I'm ready to click start. So it's taking the pictures every time it moves. The one thing I did want to mention is I had to move the Z-axis down so that the microscope was closer to the uh, object. 